Provincial Capitals of China, Part 1. This video will introduce the capitals of five provinces. Anhui, Fujian, Gansu, Guangdong, Guizhou. Most have capital cities whose history dates back several thousand years. Although they retain ancient architecture and monuments, they are now bustling modern cities. Anhui province is in eastern China and straddles the Yangtze River. Its name comes from two ancient cities, Anqing and Huizhou. Hefei, the capital, is near the center of the province. There is a light-hearted joke in eastern China. What's the result when two fat guys get together? The answer? Hefei. This Chinese joke is a play on words, much like the American joke, What did Della wear? Her new jersey. He means join or combine. Fei can mean fat. But in this case, Fei is derived from Fei Shui, the name of a minor river whose two branches meet near the capital city. Originally, the written character Fei in the name of the river included the water radical, but over the years the character was simplified and now is written the same as the word for fat. In olden times, the water from the Fei Shui was diverted to form a moat around the old walled center of Hefei City. Now a modern metropolis, Hefei is the most populous city in Anhui province and an economic powerhouse. Recently, it has become a hotspot for advanced technology and is home to China's University of Science and Technology. As we leave Anhui, let's pause for a moment to review the word Zhou, which we discussed in part two of Learning Chinese Provinces. The pinyin letter combination, Z-H, is pronounced much like the English J. So, J-H-O-U sounds much like the English name Zhou. Historically, Zhou meant state or prefecture, but today it lives on in the names of various cities and even one province. In this video, we already mentioned the historic city of Huizhou, which provides part of the name of Anhui province. Moving forward, we will find that in one way or another, the word Zhou has a presence in each of this video's provinces. So keep Zhou in mind. Fujian. Like Anhui, this name is the combination of two city names, Fuzhou and Jianzhou. The first of these, Fuzhou, is the capital of the province. This ancient city is famous for containing three hills, two pagodas, and one river. Fu is an essential word to learn in Chinese. It means good luck. It is associated with the Spring Festival, and you will often see it written over doorways, on lanterns, teacups, and gift envelopes. You will see Fu anywhere and on any occasion when people want to summon good fortune. If you go to China, you will sometimes see the written character displayed upside down. This is extra auspicious and draws on another play on words. The Chinese words for upside down and arrive are both pronounced dao, so placing fu upside down evokes the arrival of good fortune. Fuzhou retains noteworthy historic structures, but it has become quite modern. Today's city of 7 million is said to be one of the fastest growing urban areas in the world. Some scholars associate the name of this capital city with a nearby mountain. But just remember that Fu means good luck. Remember Fuzhou as the lucky city. Our next destination is Gansu. This province also gets its name from two cities, Ganzhou and Suzhou. 
The strange shape of this province reflects its role as the path of ancient commerce, squeezing between mountain ranges and deserts. The Yellow River, China's mother river, cuts across the eastern part of Gansu. The ancient Silk Road linked China with the Western world. That path passed along the length of Gansu. At the spot where the river and the Silk Road cross, we find the capital. Initially, this city was often called Jincheng, the Golden City. But eventually, it took on the name Lanzhou. Literally, Lan means orchid. But it is said that in this case, the word is a reference to Gaolan Mountain, which in turn is said to come from an ancient Mongol name for that mountain. Over the years, the character of Lanzhou expanded. In addition to its role in transportation, today it is a major industrial city. Shortly after the establishment of the Qin Dynasty, the territory of China grew, including a push southward. It expanded toward the South China Sea and what is now Vietnam. We call the result of this expansion Guang, which means the expanse. Administratively, it is divided into eastern and western parts. Dong means east. So the eastern part is called Guangdong Province. For reference, note the locations of Macau and Hong Kong. These tiny enclaves are special administrative regions of China and border Guangdong Province. The capital of Guangdong is Guangzhou. Guangzhou is located on the Pearl River Delta, providing easy access to the sea. As far back as the Qin Dynasty, it became an important port city. Guangzhou has a long and colorful past, and is sometimes known by the nickname Yangcheng, Ram City. This is derived from a legend that says around the 10th century before the Common Era, Five immortals, riding five rams, flew into Guangzhou. Each ram carried rice stalks in its mouth. The immortals gave the rice to the peasants and then flew away, leaving the rams, which turned into stone. The rice was the immortals' promise of bountiful harvests for the future. As a major port, Guangzhou has shipping access to the world. It played an important role in the Maritime Silk Road when the overland routes to the west became difficult during the Song Dynasty. In the west, Guangzhou is sometimes referred to as Canton, using the name popular among Portuguese and British traders and colonialists beginning in the first half of the 16th century. Today, Guangzhou is China's third largest city, and this modern city continues its tradition of prosperity connected with trade. The final province in this video is Guizhou. Did you notice? In this case, it is a province that uses the word Zhou. The Learning Chinese Provinces video taught us that the province name means precious region. Guiyang is its capital. Gui, meaning precious, combines with yang, another important word encountered in Chinese place names. A quick note. In the name of this province and its capital, the yu plus i is pronounced wei, not we. Listen. Guizhou, Guiyang. The Taoist concept of yin yang encompasses the importance of opposites creating harmony and balance. You see that yang in the city name is the same as the yang of yin yang. As a city location, yang means a site that is south of the mountains and or north of a river. This embodies the idea that we position ourselves with shade at our backs and the sun in front. Now that you know the word, you will start to notice it in city names. The name of this city includes Yang because it was built south of the mountains, 
and north of the Nanming River. Although the area around Guiyang was inhabited as early as the 5th century before the Common Era, the current city is younger than some of the other cities we have discussed. Today, Guiyang is an attractive city, easily reached by air or high-speed train. As a bonus, it is positioned near some of Guizhou's important sites, such as Huangguoshu, China's largest waterfall. Well, there we have it. Five provinces and five capital cities. Stay tuned for the next segment of this series.